Blaine, Jessica, frustrating is exactly right. That's consistently what the homeowner said. So I sifted through close to 300 pages of legal documents. This is just half of them. Everything from the original communications agreement to the most recent court filings. Residents of the H2O community up in Hampton say that they are just tired of being taken advantage of and overpaying for cable and internet. Because it's not right, we need, we need to stand up and do something. Moscow Gardner says his Hampton community, H2O by Chesapeake Homes, has been paying double for cable and internet for years. To understand why, we turn to the homeowners agreement. Here's what we found. Sandler at Coliseum Central built the H2O community. They then created a separate company, Coliseum Central Infrastructure Management, also called CCIM. Subsequently, CCIM is controlled by the developer, Sandler, which according to the documents was established to provide communication services to homeowners. So think cable and internet. Now outlined in the contract, homeowners pay CCIM and CCIM pays Cox. Now the big problem is CCIM has been charging fees for these communication services about and in some cases more than double the actual cost of what those services would be if the owners just called up Cox. Attorney William Sleeth is representing the homeowners in litigation. According to court filings, residents are being charged around $180 per month when Cox basic services only cost about $75. Sleeth argues that $100 difference is going to CCIM. Essentially what happened is the developer created a corporate structure where they can line their own pockets on the backs of the homeowners. Court documents show this agreement was put in place in 2008 when H2O was still under the control of Sandler's HOA Board of Directors. However, court records show just recently that arrangement ended and the community could appoint their own board. The law says that when the transition of control of the Board of Directors happens, there's a very narrow window in which the new owner elected board can make the decision to terminate certain contracts that were put in place by the developer controlled board. Gardner, a homeowner himself and president of the HOA, says they were prepared. We filed our motion within seven days because we already had everything ready to go. We already had our lawyer in place. As soon as we took everything, as soon as we took everything over and took over the master association, we was able to go and try to get rid of this contract. CCIM, on the other hand, is saying that the homeowners can't validly terminate it. In court documents filed last month, the defendants say they're not in default and the communication agreement doesn't expire for years. They claim the HOA has breached the contract and the case should be decided through arbitration rather than open court. I think the developers worry that when we show up at the first hearing in Hampton Circuit Court, you're going to see hundreds of the homeowners come out in support of the community. News 3 reached out to the attorneys representing CCIM and they declined to comment. So what do you say to the argument? I, folks knew what they were signing up for when, when they joined the HOA and they read through the contract and the agreement and they still decided to move here. What would you say to that? I, I'd say that many folks don't have the opportunity to read all of the corporate documentation. When I asked why they're speaking up now, Gardner said, We want it out in the open. We want people to understand what's going on so that this wouldn't happen to anybody else in the future. And they reiterated that a few times. They don't want anyone else to have to go through this. Now, I'm told there are close to 200 homes in this H2O community all paying these same prices. The most recent document that was filed with the court comes from the homeowners. They're now asking the judge to find the defendants, AKA the developer in default, because they say that they have now received, they have not received proper response within 21 days. If you have a consumer tip or a story that you want the News 3 problem solvers to look into, then we want to hear from you. Email us at problemsolvers at WTKR.com. I'm Aaron Miller, News 3.